Hello guys, this is Elephant Shoe Tut coming at you with a brand new tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, uh, I'm going to basically show you how to check whether a program is legitimate. Now, when I mean program, I'm talking about executable, executable files that people download from YouTube. Um, now, the general rule of thumb is if you're going to download anything from YouTube, it's most likely fake. It's probably a keylogger, a remote access trojan, a virus, whatever. Um, usually these executable files are, you know, RuneScape goal generators, or World of Warcraft membership generators, or, um, I don't know, Microsoft point generators. Now these, these are all fake. I mean, people make fake programs and they bind them with viruses. And in this tutorial, I'll basically teach you how to check if they are legitimate, which in most cases none of them are, but it's a good way, good method to check. Anyway, let me get on with this tutorial. Alright, so anyway, here you have a video claiming that this program that this guy made basically gives you gold in the game of RuneScape. I'm just going to play this video. Here's a simple program that he basically made in Virtual Basic in about probably less than five minutes. I mean, anyone can do this. And then he's just going to give you all this rhetoric, this fake bullshit, which does not do anything. Even if it looks legitimate, it is not. Anyway, the first thing I would do was, or the first thing I would do is, okay, this guy has likes enabled, likes and dislikes enabled, that's because this guy is, is a dumbass, because anyone can just go to this video and dislike it, and he also has comments enabled. Most people would approve comments, but I could just type in, this shit is fake. Post it. I want to hit refresh. And there's my comment. Usually the smart people would, when you type in a comment, it'll say thanks, waiting for approval or something, but this guy is an idiot. Anyway, even though the comments say, you know, thanks man, yeah, alright, 4 out of 5, whoa, cool, and stuff, you should be able to notice a pattern. All of these comments were posted within three days, probably by the same guy or his friends or whatever. Three days ago, three days ago, three days ago. That right off the bat should signal you that this program is a total fake. Anyway, in the description, like he said, there is a download link from Mediafire. Now this is what all the people use to upload their keyloggers and whatnot. Uh, most likely it's Mediafire. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to download this, but I am not going to click it, double click it and run it because obviously that would be very bad and you would be left with the keylogger on your computer. So I'm going to exit out of that, minimize this, and for now I am going to drag this right there. Now the icon, okay, you look at the icon and you're like, okay, this looks kind of legit, but the fact that, the, the fact is this guy just took a random icon, binded it to the program, and whatever. I'm not a real expert at keylogging, but I'm not that stupid enough to run this executable file. If you take a look at the properties, okay, the description is just random shit. Um, that's an exe file. That should ring a bell. Anyway, um, you're going to need a program called Reflector. 
net reflector and in order to get this I'm going to go to Google and search for net reflector and it's the first one and this tells you that it's a net code assembler blah 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 you probably don't know what that means but you could download this for free download uh, net reflector you have to type in your name and email but you're gonna need this to continue on with the tutorial alright guys there's one thing that I did forget to mention which is if your antivirus program is running and it did not catch the virus don't automatically assume that this thing is a hundred percent real or if it's legit or if it's working whatever because ninety nine percent of the time that is actually not the fact and what these people like to do is they like to encrypt the contents of the program so your antivirus program has trouble detecting it okay so just keep that in mind it's it's probably not real even if your virus scanner says it's clean alright so let us continue with this tutorial uh, from this point on I would highly advise you to set the YouTube video to full screen because it's gonna get really hard reading some things on the video anyway I hope you downloaded the reflector if you did go ahead and open the folder and run the reflector now this program basically is what we're going to use to look at different types of strings to see if it is infected um, just ignore all this all this mumbo jumbo right here you don't really need to know anything about that and what you want to do is you want to take your file and drag it into the white part of the program now be very careful that you don't run the uh, exe or you don't double click it otherwise I feel bad for you because you just got screwed anyway go ahead and expand in my case I'm going to expand the rs gold gen that's the name of my file or the file I downloaded and then I'm going to expand rsgoldgen.exe again now ignore references and ignore this little dash what I'm really interested in this small string of letters yours might look totally different but I'm sure you could relate anyway expand that now since I've already done this I already know nothing is worth my time in this in this one in this particular one so I'm going to expand the longer set of string of letters and all this stuff comes up now basically what this is is different types of coding and whatnot and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on the first one right here and that'll come up with some coding now I'm not a expert on any of this, but from what I could tell, in this first set of string, or whatever it is, there is nothing real suspicious going on. So let me just go down the list. I'll click on this one. Okay, now this is where it gets, this is where it goes downhill, because right here you see registry, current user, create subkey. Why would a RuneScape goal generator need to create a subkey into your registry that does not make any sense automatically right off the bat this program is infected with something um, it even tries to create directories it, it tries to copy a file it's creating subkeys if that isn't enough to convince you that this program is a keylogger or something like that then just look through the other strings okay right here it's doing something with it's trying to get an environment variable uh, I don't really know what that means program 6432 bit or something like that I'm going to go look at some more stuff down the list and I guess it's trying to download a file and it's starting some sort of file um, 
going to go down the list even more, see if I could find anything. All right, I found this thing that says inject type. Right off the bat, I assume that inject means, you know, usually when you hear inject, that's pretty vicious. What else is it trying to do? Uh, let's see here. It's trying to delete some folders and paths and stuff like that. Just a bunch of stuff that rings a bell. Well, at least it should ring a bell. Just trying to start some paths and stuff like that. Anyway, I hope I have showed you some solid proof that this program is in fact infected. No question. Without a doubt, this thing will screw up your computer either with a keylogger, with a RAT, otherwise known as a remote access trojan. Um, oh, even right here, it's trying to open a shell. Open an exe in your registry. You know, all, all bad right there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe if you found it useful. Um, hopefully I'll come out with a lot of more, a lot more security tips and stuff like that. But this is basically how to make sure that some program, some random program you downloaded is legitimate or not. Um, anyway, thanks for watching.